Hi, welcome back. I'm Susan B. Lahaki, running for President of the United States, and I'm reading you a book called One Vote, Two Votes, I Vote, You Vote, and this is part four. Um, people cast their votes by different means, ballots fed into computers, or direct voting machines. However you vote, it's important you see that voters are given complete privacy. A curtain or screen protects voters from view. This ensures that your vote is known only to you. So, when I was younger, I voted in something like that with a machine like this. But this time in New York, it was paper. I voted in something like this with paper, and then it was fed into a scanning machine and kept the piece of paper. The polls close up at the end of the day. Here comes the counters. Please clear the way. By special computer, poll results are scanned but some votes are still counted out by hand. Now, I have to admit, I recommend the counting out by hand because then you have an accurate count. Computers somehow make mistakes, as we saw in the primary with the Democrats and as we saw now, again, with the general election. Again, problems with computers. The results are sent to the Board of Elections, which declares the winner after careful inspection. The careful inspection is the period we're in now, which is between the election for president and the um, electoral college votes. So right now we have, um, we're in that in between where it's time to do exactly what Donald Trump was doing, which was challenging in different states, things that uh, seem to be, you know, un, um, so illegal. And, you know, I was also contemplating doing a, um, a lawsuit, but when I look back at my information, I did not, um, everything happened in a correct way. So there was no lawsuit from my side to be made. But anyways, did I already show you that? Let me show you it again. So this is, yeah, this is where we are. We're counting and recounting, and everything will be certified, and then the Electoral College can meet on December 14th and vote. And that's what is not in the book. They talk about the presidential election and how important it is, but they give false information. And that is shocking, because this is not only... Dr. Seuss, but it's Random House. So that is quite disappointing for me. Then the loser admits their bitter defeat. And that is true. Uh, the loser in this case, in the presidential election, won't be known until January 6th. That is when Congress opens the envelopes with the uh, votes from the um, Electoral College people in every single state, and then they count them and tell us who won the presidential election. So January 6th is when we will know, and not before that. And that is when I will admit defeat, or maybe I have a victory party, I don't know. It would be nice. Anyway, thing one is done, vote thing one, but in this one, woohoo for thing two. The winner announces their victory sweet. The winner vows to serve everyone in the land, not just the supporters who lend them a hand. If all of this rings true, it's my deepest hope that. So, yeah, here we go. They're the losers. There is in competition people who don't win, and then there are people who do win. 
but yes, the two-party system really puts one against the other and creates this us versus them situation which is not healthy for our country. You will cast your first vote for the cat in the hat. Vote for the cat. Cat for president. The cat in the hat knows a lot about everything. So in this book, they want you to vote for that. So they decided it was more important to put this page in than to tell you about the Electoral College. Again, you know, random house. Sorry, it's disappointing. So there's a glossary, and I'll go over what they have here. It says, absentee, a person who is expected to be somewhere but is not. A ballot, the act of voting, usually on paper and in secret. Campaign, a series of acts intended to achieve a particular goal. Candidate, a person who applies for a job or is nominated for election. Citizen, a legally recognized member of a state or country. Electronic, referring to a device having computer parts. Inspection, a close study. Moderator, a person who directs a debate or discussion. Nominated, to propose someone to run for office. Political, having to do with government affairs. Poll, the place where voting takes place or the act of voting. Responsibility. The state of having a duty. Scan. To read with an eye or by electronic means. Sway. To convince or change someone's mind by means of speech or argument. So. Um, I don't know if it's the editor who uh, didn't realize about the Electoral College, or if it's the writer, or if it's Random House who decided the Electoral College part of the voting for president is not important. Um, that is sad. So already wrong information is given to children right at birth. Here's an index if you want to go through and look at everything page by page. So I'm going to stop here and start a new one. And this will be the extra things that they have in the book.